it's hey everyone okay hey fam listen first of all i just want to say thank you to those of you that have subscribed thus far um i have gotten a few comments of you asking me to do more videos on this notary work on using the platform and i really like to help people and i'm so glad that you are finding this information helpful i hope to help many more people as well whether it be through podcasts whether it be through the notary work that i do um or anything else that i do on this channel um i hope that it is a help in some sort of way um yeah so with that said um there are two comments i'm going to be addressing tonight and i'm pretty sure that it will be helping others as well so we are back on this blue notary platform and i am going to by request i'm doing this video um because i'm gonna let you know right now vicky santos and jessica ramirez okay um want me to do an in session video and i said that i would as well and i think there's another um not i think but i know there is an um another another person as well that want me to do it in session i believe so um i'm gonna do it in session this evening now remember to like subscribe and hit that notification bell of course so that you know when i upload more videos like these and others as well all right and tune into the podcast y'all because it's gonna be great all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you um something here right in settings first before i go to a session simulator for example so supposing that you already have your credentials right because you need in order to even do remote you know online notifications i'm also going to do a video because i think there's some another video because i think there's some updates on remote not, remote being a remote notary but aside from that um and i'm i'm talking kind of fast guys because i want to make sure i get all this info jam-packed in here without keeping you too long so before we get to the nitty-gritty of the other stuff go to your account settings right and as a certified notary you should already that's planning on doing um remote notarizations you need a digital stamp and you need a digital certificate okay now this is your account here of course this ain't no secret my my email is public you guys know my name i'm a notary in new york okay and my this is my commission number and this is when it expires okay um that ain't no secret then right here you have your blue notary no uh your blue notary profile something that i found out today i was wondering how come when i click on this open profile it doesn't you know it doesn't show me anything updated or whatever the case is so in order to if you have this on in order to edit this and save it you don't click here because on this page it's just going to bring you to another page that's going to show you the actual profile you need to unclick that then right here you can upload a photo of yourself or your logo you can put your headline right here right you can put a bio any languages that you speak your years of run experience total runs completed um your credentials website that you want to put city any of your social media handles your e and o insurance and which starts from 25 dollars all the way up uh i think it's a hundred and no it's not a hundred something thousand um i forget how high it goes but however much you have you put it here and then when it expires and then you click save that way when after you save when you do go to open profile it will show everything here on your profile okay so that's that right now i'm on the pro hybrid plan before i was on um the free plan which i intend to go back to because right now i'm not doing um a loan signings on this platform yet um so i i do in-person notarizations and things of that nature as well so this is just only one one part of what of the notary work that i do okay and this is just one platform if you speak spanish you can definitely click right here and then um i'm just gonna put that back up there when you have the pro plan hybrid plan 
Um, you can brand your own emails, right? So you can brand your own emails, excuse that. You could brand your own emails here um, and send it to your clients uh, from Blue Notary. Uh, the pro hybrid plan is $27 a month, I believe. Yes, $27 a month. Um, you can here, you can apply for, so even, even though you may be a loan signing agent as well, it's not, you know, an automatic, like you just go on there and notarize a, a loan, um, you know, a loan signing or do a loan signing. You have to, you got to fill this out right here. Okay. So, um, you have to write it. They're asking you for a statement here, outlining your, you know, experience, they prefer that you have done um, 50 RON sessions, which could be 50 remote general notary work or LS and in-person loan signing experience beforehand. Um, and then they also want you to put an a, a LSA approval letter, um, which I, I wanna, I'm gonna find out a little bit more about that, what they're specifically asking for. And then here, if you have $25,000 only in E&O insurance, that's not going to do it for you in terms of this platform. They're asking for at least $100,000 in that you have $100,000 of E&O insurance to upload this. And, you know, if you have all of that, then you can send for LSA approval on, on this uh, particular platform. Um, and then this is your session link, right, that you can you know, send to clients to be automatically linked to your session. So that's that. Now I got, um, I want to answer cause I like to, you know, answer people directly. Of course, if it's something you send me personally that you'd like me to answer, I would not mention your name, but because it's in publicly in the comments, um, Jessica, um, Jessica, you asked about, uh, so notary research, the notice recertificates, right? Um, so Jessica says, uh, you know, she, okay. Um, so you want to know, yes, you want to know about adding the notary certificates. Um, you said it's not letting you upload them. Do you have to upload the certificates or will they provide? So no, they do not provide a certificate. You need to upload that. So what you do when you click on notary, when you click on certificates and files, now, this is, I already had, I bought my digital stamp already and I had it already, right? So all I did was I downloaded, you, as you see, it says here, only PNG, JPEG, and JPG files are accepted. Um, you can, you upload your own seal here, right? So I already had the file. I uploaded this here. And if you, uh, you should have gotten all your credentials, everything like that, you know, after you do the background check and your testing and all, and all that stuff on the NNA site, um, when you start purchasing your materials, you can purchase your digital certificate. You could purchase your ENO insurance and your, your, um, your digital stamp, your digital seal and all that stuff through the NNA site as well. So that's what I did. Of course, it sent me sent me my document, everything in the email. So all I did was I uploaded my stamp here. So this is my official digital stamp. Um, and then um, down here, um, this is your digital signing certificate. Now, when I first started out, I thought that the digital signing certificate, I thought it was something, um, even though it says digital, you know, I'm thinking like, okay, this is an actual document that I got to upload, but it's, it's not, it's not necessarily, it's not in a, it's not a, 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 it's not a digital document. It's kind of more like a tracking system for, for lack of a better explanation. Right. So here you can see it says certificate download link, right. And then here it says, um, only P12 or PFX extension accepted. Okay. So this is not, like a document that they sent you that you have sitting in your documents or so it's 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 more of like a digital tracking document in a sense uh that's that's kind of like the only way that's coming to my mind to explain it right now <laughs> however right so we have that that you have to upload and then there's once you have that file there's a password that you had would have had to create for that file that you're going to put here 
And then once you put that, you're going to save it and it's going to download there. And there you have your digital signing certificate, right? Um, now, if you did not have one, because um, I got mine through I Trust, right? I-D-E-N Trust. And what I did was I was having a little bit of issues um, getting it to be a PFX file or P12, whatever the case is. And I use a Mac, so I wasn't seeing it in my my like my keychain, my Mac keychains or whatever. So I all I did was, um, and if you're having issues with this as well, and you use Identrust, I would recommend that you call Identrust because they will help you and they will walk you through how to fix everything so that you can have the right um, extension to upload um, here, right? Because if you don't have one. They tell you here in Blue Notary that you it's available for $35 with a val validity of one year. So you can buy and download one right here on um, Blue Notary. And then they also have one here for, for a lifetime option. Then when you scroll down here, run approval document. Okay, so right here, it tells you the documents that are listed. Okay. It tells you the documents that are listed here for approval. So either a copy or screenshot of the email received from your secretary of state about Ron or a photo physical le letter from your SOS about Ron. You know, if it says if it doesn't offer your state doesn't offer Ron approval documents, please upload your commission sla letter slash email. So pretty much what I did is um, I couldn't find anything that physically um, has some type of run approval letter or something like that. So I uploaded my commission and that was good enough. Okay. So you click on upload. Um, and, um, I uploaded my actual, uh, a JPEG, a PNG PDF JPEG file, either one of those, I uploaded a file of my, um, my commission card. So it was a, it was a photo that I took of my actual commission card that I got in the mail and that was good. And then, and then here you create your signature because on the documents, you will have to put your, your digital signature, which is not your digital seal. That is different. This is your stamp. This is your actual signature as if you had a pen and you were going to sign on paper. So you have the type version, then you have the signed version, right? And then. The last thing which you asked about, Jessica, is the notary certificates. So on the NNA site, if you are if you are a member, if you have membership on the NNA site, they have about four certificates or so. You well, you look in your state. Um, you look you you it asks you to put put what state you're in, and then it will show you the available um certificates, notarial certificates for that state, on um on the site and it, it will, you'll be able to download it. So these are what I use more often right here. So this notary PNG, um, actually I forgot what, what is that? I forgot what that is that I downloaded, but the two most common ones that I use are jurats and acknowledgements. Those are the, the two most common ones you, any notary will use, or, or especially if you're starting out, um, Acknowledgements and jurats. Okay, so you know, this is the acknowledgement, right? For example, so that's all I did pretty much is it accepts JPEG, um, JPG, and PNG. So all I did was I, um, I saved, you know, those two certificates in this file version, and then I clicked on upload document, and then I uploaded both of them. So whenever I have to attach the certificate to the, um, the, the document when I'm in session, all I do is I click on the no notary certificate sec um, section and I click on one of these and it will pop up and I just add it, you know, as a new page, just as if you were going to do a physical uh, in-person notarization and the person doesn't either, either they, they don't have the correct notarial wording or no wording at all. You would attach it to the back of that document. It's the same thing here. It'll add allow you to add a new page um, where you can just put that in and I'll show you how to do that. So this is how you upload the documents. You just have to make sure that 
Um, and, and even if you download it in a PDF form, you can always convert it to a JPEG, a JPG or a PNG file. Okay. I think what I did is I brought the PDF file into Canva. Maybe I might have done that, or I might have just used, uh, you know, you can always find like a free conversion site and just convert the file into, a, into one of these. And then you say, you know, save it in your documents. Um, what I would recommend is you open a new folder, call it notary, open a folder called loan signings, whatever the case is, or so anything pertaining to notary, anything pertaining to whatever you're doing concerning that you have it all in one place and it's easy to find, make another subfolder called certificates and put all your certificates in there. Okay. That way, when you upload, it's easy to find and there you have it doesn't go anywhere. Okay. So that's how you do that. Jessica and anybody else that is wondering, okay. Um, and what I do want to say, um, is it is, um, it is, it, you, you will get nervous, <laughs> you know, if you're very, you're, you're starting out. Um, I still get nervous sometimes when I encounter something I've never done before and a document or so. But the one thing that somebody reminded me of when I call the notary hotline to ask a question is they said, remember, it is not your responsibility to figure out whether the document is valid or not. You are validating the signature. Okay, so even if you're notarizing a document that you have um, no idea about, listen, you you going to be all right. Okay, and um, but I'll talk a little bit more about that another time. But you just got to jump in there and go for it. So you got, you got this, sis. You got this, Jessica. All right. And um, yeah. So in this video, you know, anyone else who needs that. So um, you have your audio video check here so that you can test your video and audio for your in sessions. And then you have your billing and payout. And um, Blue Notary uses Stripe. So, of course, that was one of the first thing that I did. I signed up here for Stripe. I didn't, um, when it charged me, there was nothing extra that came out um, because I'm familiar with credit card processing fees and all that stuff. So at least with the free, you know, the free version or so, when I first started using it, it charged a person $25. I got $25. Um, but I, I know it, it changed a little bit. So that's the billing section. Uh, it's a pretty simple layout. So now let's go back to the dashboard, guys. So this is what you are mostly looking for, okay? Now, once you have, like, like I said in the last video, you always want to make sure that you speak to the client, okay? That you get all the details that you need. You ask them what type of document it is and all that good stuff and have them email you the document so that you can look it over. That way you are prepared by time you have your either in person or in session online. Okay. Then you invite the signer by clicking right here. Okay. And I kind of went over that in the last video. Let's go back to the dashboard. So now session simulator. Okay. This is what you click on just to see how it works pretty much this is a fake session okay so when you and the person come in this is how it's going to look now they're going to uh when the person comes in on your end it's going to say something either like processing or something something of that nature okay um what's going on here why is it talking about my internet all right let's see where this goes so it's going to talk about um yeah it's going to ask them to complete uh, a series of like a series of questions and their identification and things of that nature once they are finished um it's going to come in to this session right and you'll be able to even enter the session before them. And you can even start putting things in certain places um, if you feel free. 
So this is just a, a sample document. It has one sample document right here, a fixed rate note. Okay, of course, this is pertaining more to um, a loan signing, but either either way, okay, because a note is part of a loan signing, but either way, um, okay, so it's redirecting me back to the home page. No problem. Let's go back into the session simulator. <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening here. Um, okay, bear with me, guys. Because, wait, let's go to the dashboard and then click on the session simulator. Okay, we're back in. Technical difficulties. All right. I'm trying to tear us down. All right. So we're in the session. So for example, you bring up your document, you kind of scroll through it again, right? Take a look at the names or whatever needs to be there, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now this document, of course, does not have any notarial wording on it. So you would need to attach a document. Now as notaries, we are not permitted to tell the client which one we are going to put of course this right here is is not correct right you can't just place three seals here there is no place of of a signature there's no line for you to sign there's no you know what i mean so we have to place the right thing there um you are going to ask the client which one they want to choose okay so this is a document now here on the left side on the top of course is going to be the client's video you are going to be right here on the bottom, okay? Then check signer ID. The signer would have identified himself already in there. Oh, what's happening? Okay, let's try this again. We're back into the session simulator. I don't know what's going on with, with my, I don't know if they're updating or if it's something wrong with my internet, but let's keep moving guys. So they would have identified themselves already right here. Okay. That's how you look for their, you check the ID, you look at their signature. All right. Then if you need to add signers, you would click there and you would add the signers. Um, okay. Cancel that. And then if you want to add a witness, you add the witness there. Something's happening with the internet. I don't know what. Um, then notarization type, you're going to choose which one. So for the sake of this, I'm just going to choose a jurat real quick. Okay. Oh, what happened? All right. So it says acknowledgement there, and then it's going to show you the cost, right? So once you put your stamp, it's going to show you the cost right there. Okay. Um, and then you can also edit fees. So you can add your own custom fees but only if you're on the pro hybrid plan. If you're on a free plan, you wouldn't be able to do that. And I'm expecting this session to disconnect in a second because it's giving me problems right now. I don't know what's happening right now, um, but we're gonna keep it moving. Just bear with me guys. All right, cause we're, we're almost there. So, on the right side, okay, this is this is the name, okay? So all these things here, you would drag and drop. You know, you're gonna put your name where it belongs, the date where it belongs, okay? You know, you're gonna put the date, you can change the date, you can type in these boxes. Um, I'm just gonna continue to refresh it, guys, as it shuts off. It wasn't doing this before, but they see I'm trying to help y'all out. So internet's acting crazy. Okay, and then where there needs to be a signature, you're gonna drag this here and you're gonna choose, okay? So I'm gonna choose my signed signature, of course, because remember I showed you that I say I created one and I saved it. So there we go, right? And then I just kind of drag it out a little bit like that and I put my signature where it, wherever it belongs, all right? And then you have your text box. So if you drag it here, you can type whatever you need to type in there. Um, sometimes I will use that because um, the person's name needs to be typed on, on a line or something like that. Here is your notary seal. When you put that right there, 
then over here the price will change all right let's go back we're almost done so once you do that okay once you put your notary seal um as you can see right here the price changed to 25 dollars. all right if you're on a free plan it's going to show 25 dollars, right or 22 dollars, something about something like that i'm not sure if they changed it but 25 dollars is what i've been getting pretty much for it if you add an extra notary seal if your documents need more than one seal as you can see it's going to charge an extra eight dollars okay the more seals you add is going to keep adding an extra eight right you add another one right it's going to add another eight dollars okay so um as you can see it it totals up starts to total up you know what you have there so that's your that's your seal right this is your notary certificate so because this let's just say i had to add this as another sheet for the back what you're going to do is you're going to add a blank page yes okay so now when you scroll there's a blank page here you're going to click on notary certificate choose which one you want to use okay let's go back in here Go back to the dashboard. I never had this issue before. I don't know if it's because I'm doing the screen recording, but okay, here we go. So we're going to add a page. Okay. Now scroll up and you're going to see the page added now. Okay. We're going to add our notary certificate that we already saved. So you're going to click that, press continue and here we go now what you have to do is drag it out so i just like to put it there at the corner i take the edge the side and i pull it to the side and then i take this and i pull it down so it so it fills the page okay all right so here it is and then i proceed to put you know i'm gonna type in text box you know what state I'm in, what county I'm in, and you can move it over, state, county. You're gonna put the date, right? So these are all, all required text boxes. You're gonna put the name of the signer, and then you're gonna put the signature of the notary public, right? So this is my signature here. I'm gonna choose my signature, continue. I'm gonna drag it out a bit. Let's go back to the dashboard. Gotta be persistent, gotta be persistent. I don't know what's going on, on my internet. All right. Now it's of course, guys, you're not gonna run into all this trouble, but something's happening tonight in my internet. All right, so like I was saying though, when you put your commission though, you're gonna see all that stuff to add, okay? Um so I showed you the you know uploading the commission. I'm not gonna put that there again. Your signers initial, all that extra stuff, right? Um and then once you're finished, you're going to make sure that you look over everything again. I like to go over at least twice. I go start from the top and then I go all the way down to the bottom. If you need to white out something, you know, that maybe this they don't need or whatever the case is that's extra, you click on white out block, drag it, and you can put it like this and it will white out the information. It will just block it out. Okay. So that's that. and um, yeah signers free text then when you click when you drag signer this will prompt the your client on the other end they will have to sign on their screen so you see there's nothing that you could do in this box you're putting it there for them and they will sign wherever you put it wherever it's placed on the document all right and that's that's pretty much it you press complete session and what it will do is it you go to your journal let me go here. Let me go to my journal. Is it going to go to journal? Oh, I got to go to my archive section session, I should say. Right. So um, you're going to go here. It's going to show your um, your session. Right. So so, for example, let's just say that this is a session that I did. It's going to tell you, you know, what was charged, how the person was you know, verify things of that nature. These three were just 
you know samples that I did so it wasn't anything much but these two were completed now if there is um if there is some type of uh how would I say it issue or problem with with this if there's some type of issue or problem what you're going to do is um you're going to see an error message so if you had a problem with payment it will not send the document to the person until um the payment has gone through that's that's what i like i'm not sure if all platforms do that i'm sure some a lot of them probably do but um so that way you make sure that you get your money okay um so yeah uh and then you will archive the section the session i should say and this will show you ev all the sessions that you have done and what's been complete and what hasn't okay and your calendar of your you know your calendar will show you all your appointments and that's pretty much it that's how you do an in session um notarization so let me know guys if there was anything that wasn't clear to you or if you have any other questions that maybe you'd like me to touch on or brush up on um and you know we kind of take it from there um of course there are multiple platforms there's another one another two actually I'm I'm kind of looking at but it all depends on you uh I'm definitely not trying to spend a whole bunch of money <laughs> so um you know every month you know uh, I I believe that that's if if you have if it's something where like you're doing a lot of notarizations either a day or a week or so um you just kind of have to see what makes sense for you so i hope that um you know you got some some good informations and your questions asked um out of this let me know and leave a comment all right bye